I'm looking at Deborah as a, uh, she was a prophetess of God, and her name means bee, and it means in the sense of orderly motion, a bee from its systemic instincts. And so this woman who was a prophetess of God, meaning she was hearing from God, she was very important. So I want to read, I believe she represents the bride Okay, so it says in Genesis 35, 8, But Deborah, Rebecca's nurse, died, and she was buried beneath Bethel, which means the house of God, under an oak. And she, and the name of it was called Alan Bakuth, an oak of weeping. And Deborah, the prophetess, the wife of Lapidoth, which means a torch, she judged Israel at that time, and she dwelt under the palm tree, which means upright, Deborah, between Ramah and Bethel, in the mountains of Ephraim, which means the double ash heap, and it also means double fruitful. And the children of Israel came up for judgment, and she said, I will surely go up with thee, notwithstanding the journey that thou takest, shall not be for thine honor, for the Lord shall sell Sisera, which means a battle array. He shall sell, sell the battle array into the hands of the woman. And Deborah arose and went with Barak, which means lightning, to Kadesh, which means a holy place. So lightning and a holy place, we know this is of Jesus. And Barak Barak, the lightning, called Zebulon, which is the exalted, and Naphtali, which means wrestling, and to Kadesh, which is the holy place. And he went up with ten thousand men at his feet, and Deborah went up with him. And Deborah said to the lightning, Up, for the, or arise, for this day in which the Lord has delivered Sisera, the battle array, into the hands of is not the Lord gone out before thee? So Barak the lightning, or Jesus, went down from the mountain of Tabar, the mound, and ten thousand men after him. And then I'm going to go into Judges 5, which, you know, Judges 4 is when Deborah comes forth. That reminds me of Revelation 4, um, where the door is open. Then sang Deborah and Barak, the son of Abinadab, uh, my father's delight in that day, saying, Praise ye the Lord for avenging of, of Israel. When the people willingly offered themselves, that's us willingly offering ourselves to God, Hear ye, O kings, and give ear, ye princes. I, even I, will sing unto the Lord. I will sing praise to the Lord God of Israel. That's what the bride is doing. Lord, when you went out of Seir, which is the, the shaggy, when you went out of the shaggy, when you when thou marchest out of the field of Edom, the earth trembled, and the heavens dropped, the clouds also dropped water. The mountains melted from before the Lord, even that Sinai, which is the thorn, from before the Lord God of Israel. In the days of Shagmar, the sword, the son of Anath, the answer, so the answering of the sword would be Jesus. In the days of Jael, which is the mountain goat, the highways were unoccupied, just like now, and the travelers walked through the byways. The inhabitants of the villages ceased. They ceased in Israel until, the, until that I, Deborah, arose, the bride, and that I arose a mother in Israel. The mother in this case means point of departure or division. So Deborah the bride is going to arise in Israel. She's going to go up. They chose new gods. Then was war. In the gates there a shield, a spear seen among 40,000 in Israel. My heart is towards the governors of Israel that offered themselves willingly among the people. Bless ye the Lord. Speak ye that ride on white asses, ye that sit in judgment and walk by the way. They are they that are delivered from the noise of the archers. That's the people being delivered. 
in the place of drawing water, that's the Holy Spirit, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, even the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of the villages in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. Awake, awake, Deborah, awake, utter the song of lightning, or Barak, and lead thy captivity captive, thy son of Aninam, I'm sorry, Abinam, my father's delight. So this is, this is really sounding like our departure. Then he made them that remained, the remnants, have dominion over the nobles among the people. The Lord made me have dominion over the mighty. Out of Ephraim, the double fruitful, was there a root of them against Amal Amalek, the dweller in the valley. After thee, the Benjamin, the son of the right hand, among thy people, out of Makur, which is the sold, came down governors out of Zebulon, the exalted. They handled the pen of the writer. These are the people um, with, with the word of God. And the princes of Issachar, which is their recompense, the reward. And the princes of the reward were with Deborah. Even Issachar, the reward, and also Barak, the lightning. He was sent on foot into the valley for the division of Reuben. Behold a son. There were great thoughts of heart. Why abodest thou among the sheepfolds to hear the bleeding of the flocks for the divisions of Reuben, the son of the right hand? I'm sorry, behold a son. There were great searchings of the heart. Gilead, which is the rocky regions, abode beyond the Jordan, which is the descender. And why did Dan, the judge, remain in ships? Asher, which is the happy continued on the seashore and abode in his breaches. Zebulon, the exalted, and Naphtali wrestling were people that je uh, jeoparded their lives unto death in the high places of the field. These are people who put themselves, these are the martyrs, I believe. The king, the kings came and fought, then fought the kings of Canaan, which are zealous in the lowlands also. And in Tanakh, the sandy places, by the waters of Megiddo, the places of the crowds, these are where crowds are gathering, the people of the crowds, they took no gain of money, they fought from heaven, the stars, which are the angels, in their courses fought against Sisera, which is the battle, and the river of Kishon, which is winding, swept them away, that ancient river, the river of Kishon, O oh my, O oh my soul, thou hast trodden down strength. Then were the horse, horse hoofs broken by the means of the prancing, the prancing of their mighty ones. This is, I, is this us coming back? Curse ye Moraz, which is the refuge. The, the, the refuge, those people hiding out, says the angel of the Lord, Curse ye bitterly the inhabitants thereof, because they came not to help the Lord, to help of the Lord against the mighty. Blessed above the woman shall Jael, the wife of Heber, the Kenite, be blessed, and she shall be above the women in the tents. She's the one that put the spirit. Um, the nail through the head of an evil ruler and he asked water and she gave him milk and she brought forth butter a lordly dish she put her hand to the nail and her right hand to the workman's hammer and with the hammer she smote Sisera she smote off the head when she had pierced and stricken through his temples at her feet he bowed he fell he laid down at her feet he bowed he fell where he bowed and there he fell down dead so that was just judges 5 uh 1 through 27 i pray you guys are blessed this is deborah she is the one the prophet of the lord those hearing from the lord and you know this is the time of us leaving guys this is the time where there is nobody walking on the streets. The war is about to begin, but we are going to be called soon. I pray you're blessed. This is God's gifts.